We're seeing some stabilization in Asian trading. What's going on? Well, what we do know is that even for those diehard Bitcoin supporters who are used to volatility, the last 74 hours were a very rough ride. In fact, if we look at the one-week losses for Bitcoin, which again has stabilized a bit, it is still set for the worst one week uh, in eight months. And you're looking at the Bloomberg right now, which shows that 50 percent drop uh, on uh, Saturday or just 24 hours ago. Uh, it was below the 34,000 level, and that is 50 percent below its peak, which was almost uh, at 69,000, close to the 70,000 level just in November. Let's go to those one-week losses right now, and they are brutal. Uh, more than $600 billion in market value wiped out from Bitcoin's peak alone. Uh, it could take some time for a bottom to form, analysts say, and for confidence to return. If we take a look at the Bitcoin chart just for the past few days. You can see the route started late last week. It continued through the weekend. That's when Bitcoin fell as low as 34,000. Other digital assets also slid with Ethereum, which was down as much as 12 percent over the weekend, Solana, Cardano, each falling as much as 17 percent, and Coinbase, which also fell. Uh, it is a uh, digital coin um, exchange, and it recently went public. It was down as much as 13 percent on Friday. Now, margin positions were being liquidated. That caused a wave of additional selling pressure. Uh, we've mentioned that Solana, one of the largest blockchain networks, was actually hit by stability, instability because of the rush of selling. Uh, the Fed being more hawkish mm -hmm. had already started to weigh on uh, Bitcoin prices. Uh, but with all the volatility and the sell-off in tech assets, uh, we saw Bitcoin uh, going along for that uh, very bearish ride. Yeah, so, Sue, you mentioned the Fed there, the sell down in tech, but what are some of the other factors that are intensifying the sell off? And what are analysts saying about where crypto goes next? Well, it's a question where it goes next because let's drop right into the Bloomberg. So many had said that Bitcoin was in its own world, and yet it continues to show greater correlation uh, with uh, assets like uh, tech stocks when there is risk off sentiment. Uh, the Federal Reserve, again, adding to concerns. There are uh, new uh, pressures coming from Russia, which is putting limitations on mining. But on Friday, Bloomberg reported that the White House is now adding to the Mix. Sources close to the Biden administration say there could be an executive order as early as February putting out a White House plan and ordering various federal agencies and regulators to issue reports on the uh, regulation of Bitcoin, any uh, security issues, and how it may impact the economy. So if we look at how Bitcoin and its rival coins are trading now, there is still a bit of red on the screen, although, again, Bitcoin firming up, as is its rival Ether. But a lot of analysts say there's a possibility we could go lower from here, as low as 30,000, perhaps. Uh, noted crypto bill and billionaire Mike Novogratz said 38,000 would hold uh, last week. As we know, that was broken over the weekend.